A groundbreaking new study reveals that terzepatide has outperformed semaglutide in helping adults with overweight or obesity lose weight. Discover how terzepatide led to greater body weight reduction compared to semaglutide. Welcome back to The Downsize, your go-to source for the latest on GLP-1 medications and all things related to treating obesity. I'm Christopher Durham, and I'm the host, along with my wife, Lorraine. Today, you've got just me, and this is a new occasional series I'll do that dives a little bit deeper, gives you some insights into some of the research and other things going on beyond the time we have to spend in the news. My wife, Lorraine, and I began our GLP-1 adventure on September 29th of last year. At that time, I weighed 285.4 pounds. Today, I weigh 211.8, and I'm 21 pounds away from my goal, so I've lost right at 73 pounds. Over the course of this adventure, I've taken Manjaro, or really I started with a compounded terzepatide, went to a Manjaro with my local physician due to shortages, went to Zepbound, and then back to compounded terzepatide. So it's been all over the map and adventure. I will tell you that it's all worked well for me, both the branded medication and the compounded trazepatide. The only real difference I've seen is in the application method. So of course, in the branded medications, you have the pens, which are super easy to use, lots of trash, so I do hate that, but very easy to use versus the needle and vial. So if you've ever done this, it's basically an insulin needle and a vial. Neither one are hard, but the pens are certainly easier, and the compounder terzepatide is a bit cheaper depending on how you're getting it. It's all worked very well for me, and I've done well with the weight loss. Today, we have some interesting news for anyone focused on losing weight with GLP-1s. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Before we dive in, I just want to give you a quick reminder I'm not a doctor. Lorraine's not a doctor. We are not doctors. The information we share is based on research and our own experiences. Always consult your healthcare provider before starting or changing any new medication or treatment program. So, all right, let's dive right in. It's exciting new research. We have a new study comparing two popular medications, obviously we know them well here on this channel, used to treat obesity, semaglutide and terzepatide. You've probably heard about these two if you've been exploring treatment options. So what did the study find? Well, let's break it down. Semaglutide, first of all, if you're not familiar, is sold by Nova Nordisk as Ozempic for diabetes and Wagovi for weight loss. The active ingredient is called semaglutide. The second medication, terzepatide, is sold by Eli Lilly as the brand Manjaro for diabetes and Zepbound for weight loss. That may be different in, outside of the U.S., but it's those two brands here, and the active ingredient in that is terzepatide. They work wonders, honestly. It's uh, been a miracle for me. In this study involving over 18,000 people, both medications significantly improved health outcomes by reducing body weight. But here's the kicker. Terzepatide seemed to edge out semaglutide in effectiveness. More people on terzepatide achieve substantial weight reduction compared to those on semaglutide. So what does this mean? Both options are solid. But if you're aiming for maximum improvement in your obesity treatment, terzepatide might give you a bit of an extra boost. Not a bad thing. I have, however, seen people lose significant amounts of weight on both drugs. Before we continue, let's take a moment to understand the disease of obesity. Obesity is a complex, chronic disease that affects more than just body weight. It involves multiple factors, including genetics, environment, and behavior. Obesity increases the risk of various health conditions, such as type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and certain cancers. In my case, I was on blood pressure medication for high blood pressure that had been on for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years as well as cholesterol medication that had been on for about the same time. I suffered from mild sleep apnea, so did not sleep well, snored a lot, stopped breathing significantly throughout the uh, evening, kept my wife up, all the fun things that come with sleep apnea. So there's a lot going on there. Managing obesity often requires a comprehensive approach, including lifestyle changes, behavioral therapy, and sometimes in these cases, medications. And as you know, we're big proponents. It's important to note that medications like semaglutide and terzepatide are designed to help manage obesity, but they're not a cure. 
They can support weight reduction and improve health outcomes when used as part of a broader treatment plan. They have done wonders for both Lorraine and I. The study looked at adults with overweight or obesity who started taking one of these medications between May 2022 and September 2023. They pulled data from many U.S. healthcare systems and ended up with 41,222 people who fit the bill. After matching everyone up based on different factors, they analyzed 18,386 people, so huge numbers. The average age was 52, I'm 55, so not that far off, and the average starting weight was around 242 pounds, so kind of sounds like me a lot. Here's what they found. A 5% body weight reduction in 81.8% .8 of those on terzepatide, compared to a 66.5% on semaglutide. A 10% body weight reduction in 62.1% of terze on terzepatide versus 37.1% on semaglutide. And a 15% body weight reduction in 42.3% on terzepatide versus 18.1%. 1% on semaglutide. So you see that semaglutide number dropped pretty significantly there. Basically, terzepatide was the winner across the board at all time points. The study concludes that terzepatide helped people manage obesity more effectively than semaglutide. Future studies will dive into other important outcomes, but if you're focusing on treating weight, on obesity, terzepatide seems to have the edge. This study is a significant step forward in understanding how these medications can be used to treat the disease of obesity. Both semaglutide and terzepatide are valuable tools, but knowing how they compare directly helps you and your healthcare provider make more informed decisions about your treatment plan. It's important to remember, as I said earlier, that obesity is a complex disease and managing it often requires a comprehensive approach. If you're considering any of these medications, remember they're prescription medications. It's essential to talk with your healthcare provider, your doctor, and build a plan for you to be able to be a happier, healthier you, and that may include taking these medications. They can help you understand which option might be best for your situation and ensure you have a plan supporting your overall health and well-being. These results highlight the potential of terzepatide to be a more effective treatment for obesity in many cases. However, individual results can vary, and finding a treatment plan that works for you is essential. This study gives us some great insights into how terzepatide and semaglutide can help manage the disease of obesity. If you enjoyed the video, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on GLP-1 medications and tips on managing obesity and losing weight. Your support means the world to us. Make sure to join us each week for the downsized news as we give you more stories like this and we present the latest in GLP-1 weight loss news. If you haven't already, we also host a weekly live show on YouTube. It's Thursday nights at 7 Eastern Standard Time where you can come on and talk to Lorraine and I. We'll answer questions. We'll have a chat. Honestly, the conversation in the comments is just as exciting. We love seeing you all there. And then on Sunday nights, we do our weekly weigh-in or we'll publish our weekly weigh-in so you get to see how we're doing. We tell you about our weight loss for the week, the ups, the downs, the, the tears, the laughter, the whole nine yards, and we give you a glimpse into what's going on in our lives. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on The Downsized. My name is Christopher Durham, and please like and subscribe.